Hello, listeners. If you've enjoyed these narrations, please click on that like and subscribe button. If you've looked into a mirror today, it might already be too late for you. No, mirrors are not paranormal portals to a dark dimension. They're just mirrors. They reflect light. The issue is when you think that you are looking into a mirror that isn't really there. The mirrors in your home, those are probably fine. Mirrors on a wall where you know what's on the other side, also definitely fine. But if you see a clean mirror in public, on a wall that you cannot get behind, stay away from it. Do not look into it. Do not look at the thing that is pretending to be you, for it certainly is not. I cannot tell you for certain who is orchestrating this, nor do I know why business and public bathrooms are agreeing to it. But more and more establishments are building identical bathrooms next to existing ones. I know this because I am one of the contractors who keeps being hired for this. I have built three bathrooms so far each of which we were told to pay meticulous attention to detail and to build an exact mirror image of an existing bathroom. At first, it didn't seem too strange. The places probably just needed space for more toilets. Perhaps they were getting a lot of customers. The first job was for a generic public restroom in my local town center. The second job was in a restaurant at a couple miles away and the third job was for the university for a neighboring city. The fact that each separate and very different location had the exact same request was actually very unsettling. But it was money. Why wouldn't we accept it? A few days into the third contract, I was in my local town center, purchasing some supplies for the job. I needed to use the bathroom, so I made my way to the public ones. They're a little hidden through an alleyway the type you definitely wouldn't use at night. When I got there, I noticed that the bathroom I had helped build was simply not there. They had filled the doorway back with bricks and cement. It was as if they was never there. I figured they had realized that having two identical bathrooms was silly. They had probably gotten some people to knock down the shared wall between them to turn them into one larger bathroom facility. But no. Once I was standing inside, it was... The exact same size as before. The shared wall, the one with the mirror across it, was still there. They had hardly even cleaned the place up. It was all filthy and dirty. All except for the mirrors. The mirrors were crystal clear. It didn't make sense. This would indicate a terrible, terrible job had been done. However, we had been paid on time and didn't receive any complaints. As far as my team and I were aware, we did everything perfectly fine. I couldn't understand why they would hide it away, but it wasn't my job to understand. We got paid and it was up to the client what they did with the work once we had left. We collected 50% of payment up front and the other 50% when completed. Once we were done with the third contract, we had to chase up the restaurant. They still had not paid us the second half and hadn't even been in contact to tell us why. I made my way down the same day we completed the universal bathroom. The restaurant wasn't too busy, as if not a popular place. I had been surprised when they needed the double bathroom capacity. As I made my way up to the counter, I noticed that the new restroom we had built was not labeled as such. The door was still there. They had not hidden it like the public restroom, but... A sign on it read, Supply Closet, Staff Only. There was no staff in sight just yet, just two customers who weren't even paying me any attention. So I decided I'd push my way through the door, and it wasn't a supply closet. It was the bathroom we had built. I stepped in slowly. Something about this whole situation just didn't add up to me. This was the second place now trying to hide our work. As I stepped into the center of the room, I looked towards the mirror. I noticed there was no reflection. I stepped slowly towards the sink and stood in front of them, staring. It was as if I was waiting to see myself, but I just wasn't there. There was no reflection of me to look at. I reached out, and my hand went right through it. 
There was no mirror here at all. There was just a cutout into the next room. For some reason, I felt I had to prove to myself. So I climbed into the original bathroom and stood facing away from the mirror. My only explanation was, again, perhaps that they decided to knock down the shared wall to simply expand the room. I figured that they must only be halfway finished. This explanation was short-lived as I turned back around and I saw my reflection looking back at me. By this point, confusion was an understatement. I wasn't scared either, but I was definitely unsettled. But more than anything, I just didn't understand what was going on. I reached out and sure enough, my hand met my reflection. At this point, I began to wonder whether the mirror was slide away for any reason like a secret passageway between the rooms. That was, until I realized my hand hadn't felt the cold touch of a mirror surface, but the warm and soft feeling of another person's hand. My face dropped. My eyes glazed over with fear. I didn't know how terrified I looked because my reflection had stopped copying me. It was just smiling now. His hands clasped around mine as I tried to pull away. Our fingers were interlocked, and as he began to slowly climb through, I truly thought to myself that I had been done for, had it not been for the door swinging open at that point. Oh, hey, I thought I saw you come in. You're here because we didn't pay you the other half, right? My reflection returned to normal, and I backed away from the mirror. My heart was beating out of my chest, and I couldn't take my gaze off of myself. You like the mirrors? I wasn't able to look at him as it continued to speak to me. We didn't want the bathrooms. I can't really get into detail about why we got it. We were forced to and threatened by a third party. They even gave us the money to pay you. Maybe it's some legal loophole for them to get a tax write-off somehow. I won't myself pretend to understand it. I was able to find words somewhere in my head. So you, you have the money, right? Well, you see the thing is, we really are in debt. Business hasn't been great and we had to spend it all. But I can guarantee you that we will get your money. It's okay, just keep it. I said as I walked out of there without turning back, despite being pretty sure I could hear the manager shouting at me. I do not believe these things in the mirror to be human. I don't know how, and I don't know why, but... Someone is trying extremely hard to allow these to mimic us without being noticed. Right there, in front of your own eyes, something pretending to be you, and you wouldn't even bat an eye at it. For whatever reason, it is important that they be allowed to copy people, and this is the best that they can come up with. So the next time you find yourself on a spotless clean mirror, don't touch it. They don't like to be noticed.